to another gratuitous acceleration run. There we were fighting for traction. If you follow the channel, you know you're always, always driving Sport Plus. Hey guys, it's Glenn from glennscarcollection.com and we're finally reviewing it, the M2 Competition. Alright guys, the M2 competition, this one has the dual clutch transmission, they're priced about 58, 59,000 depending whether what transmission you get and whether you get the executive package. Horsepower is 405 horsepower, this has the S55 engine from the outgoing M3 and M4. Uh, curb weight, this car weighs 3,450 pounds and it's a 3 liter turbocharged 6 cylinder. Mileage, who cares about gas mileage, 18 city, 25 highway. This is my first time uh, driving the dual clutch for this car. All right, guys, let's set off in the M2 competition. We're gonna drive in uh, manual mode. Darren started us out in second gear, and we're gonna shift to third. So, so far, the, the dual clutch seems pretty good. Seats are very supportive, I can tell that right off the bat. Got, the car's got more power than my M2. Yeah, definitely. Now, is a huge amount of more power? No, that's a downshift here, whoops. Cool. <laughs> Handling's very good, I feel like that little bit of oversteer, that little bit of nervousness. Little more focused car so far, I'd say, than the BMW, uh, my regular BMW M2. Remember, I almost got the M2 competition, but to me it wasn't worth losing 25 grand on trade-in and getting a car with slightly more horsepower, slightly more focused. For me, everybody's different. All right, so the dual clutch is pretty good. I'd really love to drive this in stick. I think this car would be a beast with the stick shift. Let's do a little acceleration here. Chirp the tires. <laughs> so it is fast, it is quick. Dual clutch is at, uh, you know, a couple tenths of a second, maybe more than that, faster than the manual. Now I just got out of the Supra. So does it drive like the Supra? No. But honestly, this car is kind of stiff. To me, this car is stiffer than the Supra. So I think the, the Supra is as stiff as my regular M2, my 2016 M2. I would say this car is a level above that in stiffness, so try it before you buy. You might be better off with the M2, especially if you're not doing a lot of uh, track days or spirited drive. Now, this car is definitely better for track days. It's got upgraded brakes over the M2. That's where the M2 probably failed at the track, is it didn't have the braking power. This car does have it. It still is a blast to drive, let me tell you. This sunset orange color has really grown on me. Uh, I had ordered my M2 competition and it, uh, in Long Beach Blue, because that's still probably my favorite color of all time. Certainly on BMW. That, whoa, accelerate. That and Laguna Seca. So I love that you can chirp the tires on this. So those uh, one to two shifts are, are chirping the tires. So let's take it on a run on these, uh, windy roads here and see how it does. These are the same exact roads we just drove the Supra on. I'm not sure which video I will post first. Now I feel the stiffness. I definitely feel it in my back here. I know BMW seats are very adjustable so I can probably play around with this and get a little more support. I would definitely drive this car in manual mode. I don't think the shifts are as good in automatic mode. They're a little lazier, not as sharp. Maybe because I'm just used to driving manual transmissions and not owning uh, automatic transmission cars, so I always feel that I can do it better than the car. 
But running through the gears, the uh, the shifts are immediate. So this seems like an improvement over the regular M2 with a dual clutch. Now my M2 was the six-speed manual. Now that car cost me about 54,000. I say it a million times in my video reviews of that car. Uh, that was 54,000 and change. And I just had the manual transmission and the executive package. All right, guys, so let's see the turning radius here. How do we get out of park? Oh, here we go. All right. Let's see how we do it. Turning radius wide. Not bad. Not great for a little car, but not bad. All right, let's do this. Fast. Fast. So what do I like about the M2 competition? Well, I love the handling. I love that it's the right size. It's essentially the same size within an inch of my E46 M3. So yes, the 2 Series now is as big as the old E46 3 Series, but you know what? This is considered a small car now, so let's embrace it. Uh, I do like the dual clutch, I really do. So if you got the dual clutch, uh, you would still really enjoy this car. I feel like the regular M2 was like blah with the dual clutch. So here, I think because you have the added power, maybe the stiffer ride, maybe the dual clutch has a couple more years to tweak it. I think it's better in this car, to be honest. Uh, I love that it's rear drive. I love that you get a little oversteer. I love that it's powerful enough at lower RPMs that you can uh, chirp the tires. That's what's missing in today's cars. Every car has the fake exhaust, pop, 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 hop and chirp in the tires. That's what counts, right? Downsides to the car, uh, it's probably not the hot car anymore. It was hot when it came out. I think sales are slowing down. I think you can start getting deals on these cars pretty soon. I think the ride is stiff. I don't know where my M2 I used as a daily driver and it, it was great as a daily driver. And this is probably gonna be too stiff for most people on a daily driver. I'm one of the few people that doesn't think the M2 is stiff. Now I'd have a lot of stiff cars like the, uh, the Lotus, uh, Exegest, but to me, this feels, honestly, this feels stiffer than my McLaren. This feels stiffer than my uh, M2. This feels stiffer than the Supra. So I think it is definitely a level stiffer. I love the power, and I love with the dual clutch, you keep the power on the engine on oil. But honestly, to make me buy this car, I want to sound like a broken record. To make me buy this car, it has to have a uh, manual transmission. Sorry, BMW, I love your car. I think you've done a great job, especially for the price at that 58, 59,000 price point. Remember, there's not too many sports cars you can really get for that price, except maybe the Supra. Does this drive like the Supra? No, they drive totally different. I just got out of the Supra, so that I drive these back to back, and they drive totally different. So if you like the Supra, buy the Supra. If you like the M2 or the M, uh, 40, Z4 or M40i, then buy that. But uh, they definitely drive different for sure. Now this doesn't have the engine as the Supra, but I always said to me, I thought the Supra would drive like the M2. So obviously they have different engines. Do another gratuitous acceleration run. There we were fighting for traction, so we didn't get the chirp in the tires, but the dual clutch is very good. You see how, how quick it goes, right? All right, so now we're manual mode and Sport Plus. Now I feel a lot of oversteer here. <laughs> wow, yeah. You definitely, of course, gotta drive this car in Sport Plus. You guys know that. If you follow the channel, you know you always, always drive in Sport Plus. Now let's see, steering. So we got Sport Plus steering. is even, you know, a little harder to turn it, a little stiffer steering. Certainly not very relaxed. All right, guys, that's the end of our video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.